Hello. Today we're going to look at power. This is for the AP Physics 1 class through the APAA Access for All program through the now Swanger Foundation. So let's get started. The first thing we need to look at is what is power? Now power is something we have heard a lot um, and it's kind of misunderstood. The actual definition for power is the rate at which work, work is done, okay? or the rate at which energy is transferred into or out of a system. So that's very important. So here we have rate, so that means time, and work is done. So that is work or change in energy. So pretty much what power is, is how fast you do work, okay? So the actual power equation you will see is the change in energy over some unit time. So what this means is how um, how fast are you changing energy or um, are you working? Because we know that energy is equal to work. So again, remember from our units, energy and work are kind of one and the same. So we can also write, write power as this. Power is also equal to work over time. Okay, so this is the equation you will see on the AP physics test, okay? But we also know that power is just change in work over time, or the work, how fast you do work, the rate at which work is done. And we can also see that this transfers into something cool here. That work, we know work is just an object's, well, force times distance. So we can actually rewrite this as force times distance over time. And that gives us a different equation for power. And finally, there's, also, there's even another one, is we know that velocity is distance over time, and we see that we have a distance over time here, so we can rewrite this as force times velocity. So I'm not trying to be confusing here, but there's a lot of equations that describe power, okay? So all of these equations here are pretty much or actually they are, they're the exact same. They're solving for the same thing, and that is power. So if you know how much how much energy you have in your system, and you know how much time that energy was being changed, you can use this equation here. You also, if you have a force and a distance, and you know the time, you can also use this equation here. So the third equation. And if you know how much force is being applied, and you know what velocity the object is moving at, we can also find power. So there's a lot of um, interesting ways to find power. And these equations and this kind of a, this pattern is very important to memorize for the AP test. So you need to memorize uh, for the AP test because this is kind of a very, very important um, series of equations that get used a lot. And we'll do some examples here in a second. Okay, so remember that power is measured in watts. Okay, so example, I like to tell my kids whenever you plug in a, a light bulb, and you have your little filament here, light bulbs are measured in, example, watts. So what that means is that's how much power is needed to power this light bulb. You know, if you have like an LED bulb, there's significantly less wattage. Okay, or if you're in the PCs, um, like building, building computers, there's different power units. There's like 500, 600, 800 watts. That's just how much power is needed to power that computer unit. Okay, so, so power is used a lot in electronics and in mechanics. Um, we even know that power is also in horsepower, HP. Oops, I can't spell. Horsepower. Example, uh, one horsepower I think it's like approximately 750 watts. Okay, so we can kind of, we use horsepower and we use power a lot more than what we realize. So let's do some examples. So two people are moving an old couch that weighs, has a mass of 35 kilograms across the basement. The two people can apply a combined force of 300 newtons horizontally. So you got this old couch. I keep thinking of that episode of Friends. They're moving the couch. And we got two people. Let's just say they're pushing on it. And they can push it with a force of 300 newtons. And they move the couch 10 meters across the ground. All right. 
So that's our distance. And they do it in a time of 10 seconds. So it takes them approximately 10 seconds to move this couch. The question is, how much power do they supply? Well, we know that power is just work over time. Um, we know we, uh, work is also equal to force times distance over time. And so this is kind of why it's important to memorize that equations because if we see here, we have a force of 300 newtons. We have a distance of 10. So we have a force of 300 newtons. We have a distance of 10 meters. We have a time of 10 seconds. So we are, and we also have a mass of 35 kilograms, but we really, really don't need the mass. We're just trying to find um, power. So power in this case will just be force times distance over time. So that's 300 times 10 divided by 10. So we see that we get 300 watts. So these people produce 300 watts of power pushing this couch across that. So if you were to attach, somehow harness that power, you could power you know a couple of TVs for that time period. Pretty cool. Let's look at another one. A five kilogram box is moved with a force of 50 newtons at a constant speed across the floor. The box is pushed for 20 seconds and 150 watts of power are used. How far was the box pushed? So here we have our power. It's 150 watts. We have a time of 20 seconds. We have the mass of our block, which is five kilograms, and we have a force of 50 newtons, okay? And we're looking for distance. So I kind of like to write all, all my information out, and then I'm gonna go back to my equation, power, it's just work over time, which is equal to force times distance over time. And then I start to see if I have everything I need to solve for distance. So I, do I have power? I do. Do I have force? I do. Do I have distance? I'm looking for that. And do I have time? Yes. So I can use this equation. So all I got to do is rearrange for distance. So it's going to be power times time divided by force. So that is going to be 150 times a time of 20 seconds divided by a force of 50 newtons. So what does that give me? That's 33,000 divided by 50, right? So solving for that, we get what? 60 meters is how far um, this thing is pushed, okay? So that concludes our thing on power, and thanks for watching.